Hi everyone. So what I thought I would do today is a video of not looking at different note taking apps and PKM apps is actually just do a video on what I typically use in my day to day and how I interact with Obsidian and OneNote given the different constraints that I have through work and personal life. So the main apps that I'm currently using, Obsidian, OneNote and a couple of others. But for today's video, let's just focus on these two. So why, why the distinction? One is because Obsidian, I want it for my personal use. It's where I store my books, my notes, my personal things, as you can see on the left-hand side, various different things personal-wise. And OneNote, given constraints at work, uh, Microsoft product, OneNote, Office, Office 365, etc. Um, we have to use the OneNote. And as you can see, just have three folders, a personal one, which was really just a test, some marketing and some work one, which has different folders within it. The advantage of using OneNote, and we'll get to Obsidian in a second, is that together with a Samsung tablet, I have the OneNote app installed, and what I can do, and what I find is a lot easier rather than typing in meetings and you're closed off with the laptop, is basically just have the tablet, comes with a pen, and you can just write And what it does, it should sync relatively quickly. Obviously I write like a chicken, so it's, uh, it's not that clear. But you can see it comes up very, very easily. And then if I need to do something, I can always add in some more points, different colors. And you can highlight. So you can basically do everything that you would expect to do um, on a tablet and make it a little bit bigger. So it syncs very quickly and the beautiful thing is as well, let's see if I can bring it up, is that it also syncs to the phone, which I don't see just now. There you go. Let's just bring it up as well. And what I can then also do is if I want to change it, so I can take this, move this down. So the discuss this and that should move down. And then actually I want to bring everything up a little bit. Let's do that. So you can basically play around with it as you wish. And what we can then also do, there's a few shapes that we can bring in. Obviously I can't show if you have the need of a shape, you can bring them in quite quickly. And you can also delete stuff very easily. So that's what I use. Um, it's I find it just a lot easier um, and sometimes it's a lot easier to carry around the tablet rather than the whole laptop. Typing uh, is a little bit quicker to type. but you are limited to just the typing, can't draw anything, etc., etc. What I then do is I will then, at the, at the laptop, copy this, put it here, and then with OneNote, what you can do is ink to text. So, okay, it got most of it. I write in caps lock, which is not great but you can see it got the most of the text quite correctly. Why I copied it, the, the difficulty that I found is that if I do it here, I then lose what I was my writing. So it's not great. So obviously I need to now check just to see why or see the differences just to make sure it aligns. And that's it. Then I can take this, tidy up a little bit, bullet points, whatever it might be needed, add an image, put it into one, an email, and off it goes to whoever it needs to go. What I will then sometimes do is also put this 
into my one into my obsidian just to have it there just so I can link the people uh, have a bit more of a network link because obviously with one knot it's not great in terms of that whole backlinking and and whatnot and then with obsidian because I'm limited on the laptop obviously I'm on my own laptop just now but on my work laptop I cannot install it and unfortunately it doesn't have a web app what I usually do is use phone to link I think it's called a phone link with Samsung that opens up obsidian here keep this open and then just write as I go along put that in here few things here and basically I can use it as if it's obsidian it's just that it saves me from having to install it which I cannot do and you can do the various different things it's not great um, but it does mean that then when I get home I can just tidy it up on the laptop and do it a lot easier uh, the difficulty that I found is I can access this side of it so no problem if I click a page and move away um, let's just try let's try this one so obviously it comes up tables, you can see the whole thing. The difficulty that now I have is that how do I return back to the daily notes page from here? I've got a touch screen so I can do this and return to the daily notes page and do various different things, but without the touch screen, I'm stuck because I've not worked out a way that I can get back to this right hand side menu without touching the screen. So if anyone knows how to do that, then that would be much appreciated if you can share it. Um, anything else? That, that's really it, really. It's a um, combination of these two with the obsidian on the phone and basically just linking the two of them. One knot, I find it's perfect for writing. I know you can do handwriting in obsidian through the ink and through other different plugins. Um, it helps, but with the limit that I can't have obsidian on the laptop. It's not ideal, so one knot comes in very handy. And you can do a lot of other things in one knot. Uh, you can see history, you can add various different things. You can draw here as well on the screen. Um, tweak it, add a table. So you can do a lot of things within it. And then if you've got a tablet, which works very well, you can then also do some doodling and it comes up automatically and oops, you can what I find useful as well is the checkboxes so you can do these to do's link them to Outlook and then what I'll sometimes do as well is just link them to the obsidian one just so I remember and have them there but really two single source of truths if you will one not for work stuff and obsidian for personal stuff with a little bit of work stuff added in just for linking purposes and just to have everything i won't copy the whole meeting notes there i might just have meeting with xyz the key takeaways within obsidian just so that then i can remember it i can see who was at that meeting if i need to find it quickly i can do that and then just add a knot or add a link to the onedrive and have it there so that then I can have it for easy linking and do it that way. So hopefully you found that useful. So if you're in a setting like me, personal and work works limited in terms of what you can install and you're limited to Microsoft products, hopefully this gave you a little bit of an insight of what you can do and how you can interact with Obsidian and OneNote together. So thanks very much for watching as usual and see you soon.